Hey everybody, good morning. It is Pastor Joseph here on a uh, cold, cool, frosty uh, November, <laughs> November morning. And uh, it's good to be with you today. Um, quick spirit lift for today. I uh, wanted to, if you watched yesterday's, I wanted to, to sort of uh, say something about yesterday's. I talked about how uh, meaning making is so important in spiritual direction and in life. And uh, one of the things that I didn't really refer to and that I thought about in uh, watching it again is um, sometimes we make meaning wrongly. Uh, and it's the type of meaning that is important, not just meaning making. And let me tell you what I mean by that. Um, we think, uh, as, as Americans, we think that most of our stuff comes through our brain and that we think about things first and we decide whether we like somebody or uh, whether we respect somebody through rational means, through how we think of things. And um, modern science has proven that that's largely wrong, that we, uh, that we experience things first through our emotions, that the most base part of us is uh, the, in terms of evolution, in terms of, of, of our um, our growth, uh, children, uh, very young infants, uh, they don't have uh, the kinds of, of thoughts. They don't have language to, to put to their thoughts. They experience things through through their whether they're hungry, whether they're lonely, whether they're tired, whether they're wet. Um, and that's how they perceive the world around them. That's how we perceive the world around us first. If we're uncomfortable, um, then that can make a conversation with somebody uncomfortable, even before we think about it. Um, and so sometimes you'll find yourself uh, getting, uh, getting annoyed with somebody and you don't know why. Um, that's why. Uh, there's something about that interaction, about that moment that maybe you weren't totally present. Maybe you were hungry. Maybe the, uh, uh, the sandwich you had didn't agree with you. Um, and uh, your stomach is a little bit upset. So um, oftentimes we don't even get the chance uh, to think about things um, before uh, before our emotions have taken hold. And so that's sometimes what happens with meaning making. Uh, you'll see this with people who, uh, who have had tough lives. Uh, they've learned to protect themselves. They've learned to take care of themselves. But um, uh, the meaning that they've made is sort of a distortion. So instead of saying, you know, I'm sad today, uh, those folks, uh, for logical reasons, say, I... Uh, I am a sad person. I'm generally kind of depressed. Um, no, uh, that, that's not accurate self-talk exactly. Uh, I, I feel sad right now. Not I am sad. You're not sad all the time. You're not, uh, sadness isn't all of you. Uh, and I don't mean that in a judgmental way. Hear me uh, really clearly. I mean, you feel that way. So I'm not going to disavow your feelings. But what I'm saying is that, you know, people uh, say, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a person who uh, I just can't, um, I can't avoid my appetites. I, I have no willpower. Well, no, part of you has no willpower. The key is finding out which part. Uh, that's not all of who you are. You have willpower in some things and not in other things. Um, and uh, sometimes we, we make meaning in such a way that we define our whole selves that way. Uh, and it's it can be really, really uh, defeatist. Um, you know, I am... Uh, I am... Uh, unable to do this. I'm worthless. I'm, uh, I've never been good at any of this kind of stuff. No, that's not, that's not the case. Um, you are not worthless. You may feel worthless. Uh, you may, somebody may make you feel that way, but, uh, that's only part of who you are. And, uh, you've experienced it through your, through your emotions first. You've experienced it through, you know, how you, how you learn to, to wind through the world. If you had a, a really uh, domineering parent, perhaps, uh, you felt you could never do good enough. Uh, that may be where you're, where you're getting this from. So, um, my hope is that, uh, you'll seek somebody out and, and think about, you know, what's the, what's the meaning that you've told yourself for your life? Uh, and you'll seek somebody out and say, is this really who I am? Or is there, is there more to me than this? Um, and, uh, you know, if you feel, um, you know, that, that you're always trying to prove yourself to people. Well, look around at the people that you don't have to prove yourself to. Uh, not everybody is like that. Well, you've created meaning that says that. Um, but there are people who will accept you for who you are. Children are great at doing that. Um, uh, sometimes they're overlooked people in life because you just don't realize, you know, you have a really high pressure job and, and you don't have any more uh, moments uh, to express, uh, you know, to see somebody who really values you for you.
All right, so uh, uh, just think about false meaning versus versus true meaning, what that might mean. Uh, if you ever have any questions about these, I, I realize sometimes I go off on a little bit of a tangent. Uh, please put a, a comment down in the in the. Uh, in the uh, in the comments section and uh, if you ever want a dialogue or if you want to hear me say something more or uh, different you want to hear a different topic uh, please do this uh, these spirit lifts are, are meant to sort of uh, help clarify our relationship to each other our relationship to ourselves and our relationship to god hope you're doing well mask up be safe and we'll talk to you soon love y'all miss y'all bye